Hi everyone and good morning. It is uh, Natalie here with Sanskrit Blue Tarot and Happy New Year. If I haven't wished you a Happy New Year already, um, it's early morning here. You can still hear the birds outside tweeting away. Um, I've been sitting here this morning watching Papa Squirrel's new video. Hi Papa Squirrel! Um, I'm going to send it to a friend of mine who's also a client who decided she would like to learn tarot and, and begin working with it and has been asking for deck recommendations. So I love Papa Squirrel's videos and deck recommendations. Just thought I would throw that out there because why not? Um, so I'm here this morning because I wanted to share opening a new toy. Um, it comes from Britain. So you know it's going to be interesting. It is, um, well, I, this will be our duh. This would already be on the on the cover. It's the, or, you know, the, you know what I'm saying. I, you know, I'm still sitting here, still sitting here drinking this big old thing of coffee. Hasn't gone very far down the hatch yet. But, you know, it's morning and I, I'm like, I gotta just open this. I'm dying to work with it. It's the Red Seeds Oracle 1 and 2. Um, the seller on Etsy, whose information are, will be no doubt in the description box. Um, Lord, how do I get into this? She uh, offered them on special right around Christmas, and they were on sale. So you could buy both of them together um, for not a whole lot of dough. And it's an oracle deck that I saw, I've, I've seen multiple times um, on Cassia's channel, on Tarot Map. Um, I just love, I, Cassia has taste that is very similar to mine. And um, as I've been looking at this deck and watching her work with it for over a year, <laughs> or about a year, um, I just thought, wow, it's, it's just time. I just need this one this year. I have a plan for it and a plan for how I intend to work with it. Um, and right, you know, this year that's really kind of important to me to do, <clears throat> just to make sure that the decks I acquire are decks that, that have a, a, an intent and a purpose. I don't know why there's a target dot there. Um, whether that means up or down, well, we'll find out. I'll probably, once I'm up and had more coffee and a chance to think it through, I'll probably share, make a video and share, like, here's what I'm intending to do <clears throat> with the decks I have this year. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. I can tell you. Oh, it's so cool. Okay. Linda Hill, print and oracle maker. The redseeds.co.uk. Oh, man, I love Marion Woodman. However veiled the feminine is always naked. Oh my God, so true. Um, I love this. My root, my work is rooted in Jungian psychology, mythology, and feminism. Inspiration flows from a lifelong inquiry and exploration of the divine feminine. She is found in places such as myth, story, poetry, landscape, and dreams. My inner process is enhanced and enlivened by the creation of prints and oracles. It is there I greet her. Wow. And I love this too. My speech is imperfect, not because I want to shine with words, but out of the impossibility of finding those words, I speak in images. With nothing else can I express the words from the depths. C.G. Young. Um... God, I love Carl Jung. Had that thing where I, when I discovered Jung and his work, I just felt understood and whole and like healing was possible. Um, it's not entirely true, actually. I sat there, I said that, and I felt it in my body, and then another image came to mind, and it was of me sitting in the car listening, um, listening to a recorded version of Wouldn't Take Nothing for My Journey Now 
by um, Maya Angelou. And, oh, that was back in 2010. And um, that was a life changer. If you've never heard her read her own books, as much as I love reading her books, I'm so off on a tangent, um, but it's a worthy one, I think. If you've never heard her read her own books, I can I just recommend that you do because the her voice conveys so much more than her words alone ever could. Um, and her journey, it just put everything in my life in perspective and made me aware, like, if this... If this woman, who I've sort of semi-worshipped for so long, um, was able to heal from the, the trauma that she had in her life, I can heal from mine. Um, and then after that, I discovered Carl Jung. And sometime in the last couple of years, I discovered Marianne Woodman, and I love her too. Okay, moving on. This is just exquisite. Look at this. Look what she did. Oh my goodness and they come in their own little their own little things oh wow she's made it so that no matter which end you open it from you have something beautiful to greet you wow I love this oh my gosh okay so let's get this stuff out of the way little box oh my gosh so it's bigger than I expected. I don't know what I was thinking, but yeah, it is just a little bit bigger than I expected. Sorry, all the crackling. I know that's a lot. Um, I have to say this too. I was at a. I was with some new friends last night. I've been adopted, guys. I've been adopted by a wonderful, wonderful, glorious human being called Michelle Embry, who is a local tarot reader here in St. Louis, and she also reads in New Orleans and in Kentucky. And as far as I know, because she's a new friend, but I feel like I've known her forever, um, she has been, oh, what's the word I want here? She's been um, <clears throat> traveling between those three places a lot over the years. And uh, right now we're, we're lucky to have her in St. Louis. At any rate, she kind of adopted me and, and decided to... Um, start inviting me all kinds of wonderful places, <laughs> doing wonderful things. She's also a death doula. Um, so we have a lot in common and a lot of, of um, things to talk about. And um, at any rate, she introduced me to some friends and a practice that they do every now and again where they get together and just do energy work. So we were doing that last night. And when she started to work on me energetically, this was the image that she saw was she said I'm wow I'm just getting that whole like cloak pomegranate high priestess energy um from you right now and I just remembered that and then and thought wow I'm opening the red seeds oracle so anyway lots of diatribes but hey I you know I love sharing my journey and and yeah what what can I do what can I say so here we oh it's a tote bag Oh my god, I love it. Okay, this could have all kinds of wonderful uses. I can tell you that already. And there's a box? Holy shit. And there's a box. And it's so lovely and smooth and beautiful. Wow. With heartfelt gratitude to Coleman Barks for kindly allowing the use of his inspiring translations of the great Sufi poet Rumi. Oh my gosh, I love Coleman Barks. Okay, I won't tell my Coleman Barks story right now. There's a little weensy bit of damage here to the box and I really don't care. Um, you know, little box. Like, this is actually a really well-made tuck box. Um, oh look, it's one of these. Oh look, there's this. Unfold your own myth. Oh, it's actually a really beautifully made box. Um, and it's one of those. I love that. Oh, wow. And the, oh my God, the cardstock is incredible. Oh, okay, so, oh my goodness. 
I really love her art style. Oh, wow, guys, these are beautiful. These are just beautiful. They're so smooth and, um, oh, Linda, I love your work. This is so beautiful. Wow, we could be here for a very long time, guys, but I don't want to do that just yet. I may have to kind of not not do all of this on camera today. Oh, wow. I am knowing has runes all over her. I don't know if you can see those. Those are runes. Who is it, Frigg? Yeah. Um, this deck is one that I want to use with the story medicine tarot. Um, yeah, my thinking was, oh heck, why not? I'm going to just bring them out right now. Hang on one second. If I need to, I'll just edit. So in the new year, <clears throat> something I really have intention for is specific, you know, working with my decks in very specific ways. Um, and I wanted the Red Seed Oracles uh, and the Story Medicine Tarot to work together um, in a very specific way. Um, sorry, my dog is chewing his ball in the background here. He just got a new ball for Christmas and it's all, we're all about the chewing the ball. Um, yeah, I wanted to work with specifically with, um, story medicine tarot. I'm thinking about getting, well, I've been thinking about it for a, over a year, actually over a year. I, I really need to go ahead and just do it. But, um, one thing at a time, eh? Uh, and that is, I, I want the Weaver's Oracle as well to work with these two decks. Um, I also have the intention of using it with the Mother Piece. So working with the Mother Piece and um, the Red Seeds Oracle. I have several deck combinations that I want to play with uh, in the coming year to read with and so on, but um, this is one of them. I also kind of am interested in reading Story Medicine and Mother Peace together. Um, and I've got my, this gorgeous deck that was gifted um, by a friend in the community that I have been wanting to work more deeply with. And I originally was, was wanting to pair it with the New Earth Tarot because the overlaps are so similar. But what I'm actually finding um, is that I, I'm drawn to pull it together with Mother Peace. And so, you know, I think these all of these decks are going to end up talking to each other, with each other, and through each other. Um, I mean, that's, that's all Divine Feminine here, you know, and um, yeah. I have a lot of healing to do around my own mother, um, which is a continual process that I may be engaging throughout my entire life, in all honesty. Um, so <clears throat> getting getting started on that and, and continuing working on that is, in, in a really very real way, is something I'm wanting to do this year. Um, yeah. I love how there are these, we get these, there's like covert references here to, well, obviously, um, you guys know what I mean? 
that mask. I can't, re my, my mind isn't in that place, so I'm not thinking of it. But, you know, justice, or I see the Wheel of Fortune, even though we're talking about, you know, Wheel of the Year or Solar Return. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There's a lot of tarot references built in here. I cannot wait to work with this deck. It feels amazing, you guys. It feel I, this is not a card stock I've ever encountered with um, before. So I, I don't know quite what to say about that. I think it's I'm probably going to end up making my own some kind of you know container for it. Some kind of a wrap. Okay. These little bags are just the bomb. Okay. This is Red Seeds Oracle 2. I know that with this one, she works with Sappho. Yep, and here we are. May I write words more naked than flesh. Love that. And again, it's got this wonderful tuck box that it's really well made. It's very, very sturdy. Wow. despair. And I know Cassia um, blends her. She mixes them together. <clears throat> I actually really like that there is no guidebook for this. Um, you know, because what we get instead is the guidebook on the back. Oh, Tick Not Han. Wow. And I feel like she's done that really, really well with this deck. Wow. These are just exquisite. So, yeah. Um, yeah, they're very similar. Oh, this one actually is Sappho. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So if it has Rumi on the back, it's Oracle 1. If it has Sappho on the back at the top, it's Oracle 2. Yeah. And I'll be, I'll be combining them. I just, yeah. Oh my God. They're just so amazing. They feel amazing in the hand. Oh, the quality is just exquisite, people. Seek that which is not possible. Wow. So, yeah, if, if this is something everyone would like, I will do a little... Um, I can actually walk through these, but I, I really am finding like it's too much when I try to, you know, open and, and unbox and walk through at the same time. It's it's too much. So, yeah, at any rate, these will be so it's just like, OK, wow, that's going to make a big, chunky ass deck. Look at that. Chunk. And I have big hands, y'all. That is a lot. I guess Cassia has big hands because that's a lot to try and combine. Maybe I won't try to do it right away. <laughs> Maybe I'll just work with them one at a time for a while. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I just want to play with them and hold them and get the love that's in there. Wisdom. All right. So there we are, guys. That is the Red Seeds Oracle 1 and 2. May we all heal our wounds and may we all be whole and complete.
So much love to all of you. Thank you for being here and sharing this journey with me. Okay, another time. Bye.